Iowa has a really good history of reasonable gun laws. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, that's, that's evident. Um, one of the things that's changed in Iowa the past year is the, uh, is the May issue. Concealed carry permits have changed to shall issue concealed carry yes, permits. Sure. Um, w what, can you explain what the difference is between the two? Well, what happened was um, in Iowa at one time, the sheriffs had a lot of authority. Mm -hmm. They could pretty much uh, give out guns or permits or not. Uh, with the new law, they don't have any authority anymore. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> all someone has to do at this point is take a class. They don't have to be proficient with that weapon. They just have to take the class. and. Uh, as long as they haven't been convicted of felon or domestic. And so they pretty much have to hand out, um, you know, weapons permits to just about everybody. Or do you think if we fix our background check system and, and close loopholes, do you think that would also help to keep law enforcement safer? Well, I think it'll help. And, you know, it, anything we do is going to help. What would you say to citizens of Iowa who think that the background check system needs to be fixed or? Um, you know, for example, the sheriffs who didn't want the law to be changed necessarily. Mm -hmm. What can they do to try to get our legislators to see things from their point of view um, and, and try to stiffen the background check system and, and really fix it? Um, well, what we need to do, in a, in a, and we are doing, is organizations, you know, chiefs organizations, sheriff's organizations are mm -hmm. going to the Capitol and talking to the legislatures and we're emailing uh, our representatives at the legislature to uh, try to get that uh, accomplished and uh, and you tell other people to do the same thing and, and hopefully they will. You know, ultimately it, all those decisions are made by those people, not by us. We, we just have to uh, enforce them. We don't get to make them.